studios in Boston. WBZ News at 5 starts right now. Breaking news and arrest in a hit-and-run crash. Police say it was a former Cambridge police officer behind the wheel. WBZ broke the news. Investigators tracked that car down in Quincy. Sky Eye was over the scene as the vehicle was being towed away. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for being with us. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm Jonathan Elias. The man in custody tonight was a Cambridge police officer for 35 years, but right now the man injured in the crash remains in critical condition. Lauren Lamanchek's been following the story all day. She joins us now live in the South End tonight. Lauren? As far as we know, the suspect, a retired Cambridge police officer with 35 years on the job, is still in custody here at Boston Police District 4. He's expected to be arraigned tomorrow. Now, that accident uh, happened this morning, and as detectives continue to investigate this hit-and-run crash, they've still not been able to identify the victim. It happened around 6 a.m. right in front of the Mass Ave T station in the south end. And police said it appeared the victim was in the crosswalk when he was hit by a gray mercury. The driver sped off toward Columbus Ave. The victim is a middle-aged man who was rushed to Boston Medical Center with serious injuries. A few hours later, police did find the suspect car in Quincy, right in the parking lot of 69-year-old Lauren Stead's apartment complex. Stead was arrested and charged with leaving the scene of a motor vehicle accident causing serious injury. Cambridge police confirmed he was with the department for 35 years before retiring in 2009. He was inducted into the Cambridge Athletic Hall of Fame. Now, last check, the victim was still at the hospital at Boston Medical Center undergoing surgery. We do not have an update on his condition. And at this point, the, di the district attorney's office says they still have not been able to determine his identity. Live in Boston, Lauren Lemanchek, WBZ News. Back to you. Lauren, thanks. He told them buckle up before hitting the gas and then slamming right into a utility pole. A Framingham town worker is charged tonight with trying to kill two children that were in his car. Peter Curtis is his name, and he says it was a mistake, but police and prosecutors, they're not buying it. And one of the children injured in the crash is in critical condition. Investigators say just after 7 Monday night, Curtis was on Pleasant Street when he sped up to 100 miles per hour, then slammed into the pole at Arnold Road. The impact popped open the electrical box. Christina Hager's live at the Framingham Courthouse where Curtis faced a judge. Christina? Well, Paula, Curtis's badly damaged car is being held as evidence here at the Framingham Police Department. You can see it behind those cruisers. A 15-year-old boy and a 10-year-old girl were in it when it crashed, and the girl still in the hospital with serious injuries. A gaping wound on his head. This Framingham Parks and Recreation worker left court, hunched over, saying it was an accident. What happened? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Okay. Earlier, we only saw a silhouette, Peter Curtis, covered with a blanket, as officers helped him into a Framingham District courtroom to stand accused of trying to kill his niece and nephew on a reckless ride in this car. The defendant uh, accelerated his vehicle to about 100 miles an hour, turned around to the 15-year-old nephew and said, you better buckle up, we're going to go on a death run. They all ended up in the hospital. Curtis had picked the kids up at their mother's house, his sister, and was giving them a ride to their mom's workplace when police say he slammed into this telephone pole on Pleasant Street. Bits and pieces left on the ground days after it happened. And in the car's broken center console, police say they found an empty vodka nip bottle. His attorney says it was not intentional, and he says 100 miles per hour is an exaggeration. Accidents sometimes happen when people do stupid things. So, and when you're driving too fast in a car and get into an accident, you know, stupid things happen and people get hurt sometimes. Well, to allow time for Curtis to get more medical attention, the question of bail has been delayed until Friday. That's when he's due back in court. Meantime, we did speak with some people who know him. They say this just doesn't make sense, doesn't sound like anything he would do. We'll hear more from them coming up at 6. For now, we're live at the Framingham Police Department. Christina Hager, WBC News. Paula, Jonathan, back to you. All right, Christina, thank you very much. So turning our attention to weather now, we made it. We made it to the final day of winter. And I never thought I would be able to say these words together for a long time. We are now looking at warmer weather ahead. How about that? To welcome in spring, we're going to get those higher temperatures, but not before 
a few flakes. Now, see, I didn't think I'd have to say that again. No more flakes. We're getting yeah. flakes. Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is here now with your AccuWeather forecast. Really? Can't we just dodge this one again? It's still winter. Still winter, right? Anything can happen here. We're heading through March. And not a big storm tonight, but there are winter weather advisories that are out much of central Mass, all of western Mass, and into southern Vermont and New Hampshire, 8 o'clock tonight until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We've got a couple areas of precipitation we're watching, one here along the east coast. More back with the actual front in the Ohio Valley. And some of these have been putting down some sleep pellets and some snowflakes around here. So even where you see some green on the radar, there are some sleep pellets that are mixed in. Not looking at a ton of accumulation, but there will be some winteriness to deal with as we head through tonight. So time to get out. And temperatures are not terribly cold, but they'll hover in the 30s. It's rain from Boston south and east. We'll see some of the mixing on the northwestern side of the city. That continues until about midnight, and then we'll all change over to rain, and it is all gone by tomorrow morning. So it's a damp, kind of chilly night in terms of total snow, a coating to an inch for most of our area. We'll talk about those warmer temps. They are on the way, coming up in a few minutes. All right. Thank you so much. Well, the Secret Service and local police are working together trying to track down a man who posed as a Secret Service agent to try to get out of paying a fare. A passenger captured this whole encounter on camera and posted it to YouTube. Listen to this. What's your cash number? A fake agent there apparently tried to intimidate the conductor, even accusing him of working for Al-Qaeda. No word on which commuter rail train this incident happened on. We'll have some surprise testimony in a New York courtroom today. A top aide to Osama bin Laden described what the Al-Qaeda leader told him right after the September 11th attacks. Lisa Hughes now with the details on this. Lisa? Well, Jonathan, Suleiman Abu Ghaith is no ordinary suspect here. He's bin Laden's son-in-law. He's on trial in New York City on charges of conspiring to kill Americans and supporting Al-Qaeda as a spokesman. What's surprising here is that he wasn't expected to take the stand today on his own behalf. Abu Ghaith says bin Laden summoned him the night of September 11th and said, did you learn what happened? We are the ones who did it. He says bin Laden then told him, quote, I want to deliver a message to the world. I want you to deliver the message. Abu Ghaith also testified today he made a video for Al-Qaeda with the threat, quote, the storm of airplanes will not abate, unquote. Before joining Al-Qaeda, Abu Ghaith was a preacher in Kuwait Jonathan, he married bin Laden's oldest daughter in 2008. Mm. All right, Lisa, thank you. A dramatic scene before today's briefing about missing Malaysian jet. This story just keeps going on. Anguished and very angry families stormed into the auditorium accusing the government of hiding information. And as Seth Dome shows us, they, as well as investigators, are desperate for answers. A Chinese woman, apparently the relative of a passenger, was dragged by security kicking and screaming from the press briefing room today. Just before, along with other relatives, they held up a banner that accused the Malaysian government of withholding information. The acting transport minister addressed the chaos at the briefing. One of our main priorities is also how to manage uh, emotions and, and how to um, appease the families. Today, Malaysian authorities said data had been deleted back in February from the flight simulator confiscated during the search of the pilot's house. Some data has been deleted from the simulator, and forensic work to retrieve this data is ongoing. But sources tell CBS News that an initial review of the pilot and co-pilot's seized personal computers and emails revealed no evidence of any hijacking plans or plot. You can certainly feel those tensions rising. Of course, earlier in the week, family members of passengers threatened a hunger strike in Beijing. And earlier, of course, there were those scenes of chaos here, all underlying the family's search and need for answers. Seth Doan, CBS News, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. A lot of nations are looking for that plane. In fact, Australian officials just cut their search area in the southern Indian Ocean by half because they say new analysis of the plane's likely fuel consumption prompted their move. A landmark settlement. Toyota will pay the federal government a record $1.2 billion for safety problems with some of its most popular cars. The government accused the automaker of defrauding consumers about sudden acceleration problems, which led to deadly crashes with Camrys, Avalons, and some Lexus models. Initially, Toyota blamed drivers. It eventually recalled 10 million cars. The company says it's now more responsive to consumer complaints. Coming up at 5.30, Beth Germano talks to the son of a local woman who died in a crash involving unintended acceleration. His reaction to this massive settlement 
that's at 5.30. So have you seen some unusual behavior in the office today, somebody posting something with tape and then throwing a dart at it? Perhaps they're choosing their brackets? Because today is March Madness crunch time, not just for the 64 teams who kick off the big college tournament tomorrow night, right here on WBZ, by the way. That's right. We're also in the final hours of deliberation, looking at your choices, uh, uh, picking winners in office darts. pools. It is a tough tour for the casual fan, but never fear. John Keller is here to help you sort out your bracket. John? Well, Paula, unless you've spent the last five months carefully scrutinizing the college basketball universe, it's hard to have much confidence that the 10 or 20 bucks you throw into the office pool will pay off. Unless, that is, you do what we did. Seek help from an expert. It's NCAA tournament action. And, and on the Gresham Zo Show at 98.5 The Sports Hub and across the sports world, that means it's time to fill out your entry into the illegal office pool. Have you ever won the pool? Um, I have won the pool one time. I'm not going to say where, though. His credentials established. Oh, we sought right some badly needed bracket help. Normally, two 12 seeds are going to go, and probably a 13 seed moves on. You're always good with taking the number one seed and pretty much going to the, the Sweet 16, unless this year it's Wichita State. Got all that? If not, you might want to turn to less scientific methods of picking the winners. For instance, there are four Jesuit schools in the tournament. The world's leading Jesuit, Pope Francis, has had a widely acclaimed first year in office. Wouldn't that be a good reason to pick the Jesuit colleges in here? Yeah, you know... Normally, they just don't do very well. Yeah. How about getting your homer on by picking two local entrants, Harvard and UMass, to go deep? John, I don't know about you, but in these pools, there's normally a couple of shekels involved, yeah. and you've got to take the homer factor out if you want to bring home the kitty to mom at the end of the day. I see. So, so you know, what do, you do, do the you experts do with their brackets? Pull it on the floor, and all the food that drops on the floor and drink Wherever the stains are, that's the team that you can advance well, for. I like that. That would be the Zolak theory. The bottom line is, as far as really scientifically picking this, this is a good excuse to party with your friends. No it? question. Now, of course, organized wagering on sports events is illegal in Massachusetts, but never fear. A spokesman for Attorney General Martha Coakley assures us in a statement that, quote, the Attorney General's office has not devoted enforcement resources to these types of activities, end quote. Whew. Close one. No bragging, and please. Dang. I think what was so refreshing about his approach was the scientific nature of how he went after it. It's true. Absolutely. Well, as you could see, he's a true professional. The food on the floor. <laughs> like a leaky pen like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> those, those of us with dogs at home have another technique. Here you go, buddy. Thanks for sharing. That's a good one, John. Uh, see how your March Madness bracket stacks up against WBZ's pros, Steve Burton, Dan Roach, and John Keller, of course, with the dog trick. Uh, we have players also across the country in the brackets. A lot of fun to see how you do against them. You can take part in the CBS Local Bracket Challenge. Go to cbsboston.com to sign up and for rules and prize information. And you can check every day and update it and see what's going on. Well, an Alzheimer's stunner. Coming up, older women more likely to develop the disease than a very common form of cancer. Also ahead, a transition of power. Troops are retreating in the Ukraine as Russia wrestles away control. And a huge day for a professional dancer and marathon bombing survivor, Adrian Hazlitt Davis. Her first public performance since the attacks. Closed captioning is brought to you by Luna. With Luna, buy one room of flooring, get all other rooms of product for just $50 each. 877-241. Luna. American-owned, family-operated. Since 1829. No bull. Just lager. From America's oldest brewery, Yingling. Hey, Boston! New England's greatest hot rod tradition is back! The Town Fair Tire World of Wheels! March 28th to 30th at the Seaport World Trade Center! It's the America's wildest show card! And meet your favorite stars, including wrestling superstar Sheamus on Friday and Shawn Michaels on Saturday! Plus, meet Rick and Kelly Dale from America Restorations on Sunday! The Town Fair Tire World of Wheels! March 28th to 30th! Discount coupons at townfairtire.com! Part of the Summer Racing Equipment Show Car Series! On my journey across America, I've learned that when you ask someone in Texas if they want big savings on car insurance, it's a bit like asking if they want a big ham. That's good. Or a big steak. Or a big head. I didn't have a 
Next month, we'll find out if this test gets FDA approval. So I'm still stuck thinking about if you stayed up all night studying and you caused yeah. brain damage, then what the heck did spring break do to us? You know, I mean, you should have gone to bed we'll think earlier. about that in yeah, a second. <laughs> so warmer temperatures, but we got to go through one more round of flakes. A little bit of wintry stuff. You know, we got some wind coming in. It's tough to get into really nice, calm weather this time of year. Transition of seasons, there's always wind. It's true. So we're going to have to win, but nothing like this incredible video we have of how windy it was in Idaho earlier this week. Wow. Gusts of up to 66 miles per hour on one bridge knocked over this semi-truck. Take a look. Sorry. Police say a total of four semis rolled on, the, on bridges there on Monday, and fortunately, there were no injuries, but wow, the power of that. Unbelievable high profile it was. Yeah, and some of those mountain passes, they can gust over 100 miles per hour with the big wind storms. If you've got the profile, like John was just mentioning there, man, that's some nasty stuff. All right, nothing like that here in New England. In fact, got a bit of good news in the weather department. Happy to say that. Jack sent this one in from Lexington, even with some snow and ice still on the ground. Nature finding a way to power on through some of those bolts, some snowdrops coming their way up out of the ground. The temperatures haven't been as bad today. Fell all right. We're still sitting at 40 degrees in Plymouth, 42 in New Bedford. Another day of below average temps, but uh, we're on the mend. It's been warmer and warmer each day. We'll get even warmer tomorrow. You can see all across the Northeast, no one is staggeringly exactly feeling the balmy conditions, but it's an improvement. That's all we ask. Here's the next storm system we're watching. Kind of a sloppy one here. A couple areas of rain and snow that are working their way through. The first one, this has led to some sleet reports. A few folks saying on Twitter, and some icy precipitation falling on down. There will be a mix of some sleet and some snowflakes with this, especially the northern half of Massachusetts and up into Vermont, New Hampshire. And that line will creep its way farther northward as the night goes on. The idea is for a minimal wintry impact. There will be some wet snow and sleet, and temperatures generally holding in the 30s overnight tonight. Now, if you're from Boston, south and east, the temperatures really never get cold enough to cause any issues. Lows in the mid-30s, 40s down toward Cape Cod and the islands, and even around Fitchburg, Worcester, Keene, close to the freezing mark. You may be a need to treat some of those roads as we head through tonight. And again, I don't think this will be a big impact, a coating to an inch possible, and one to three as we move up into southern New Hampshire. Any more significant totals will be into central New Hampshire in May. So tomorrow morning, all this will be gone. It'll still be a little bit gray to kick things off, but the temperatures will be easy to take. By midday, it's sun and clouds, and there's the wind. But it's more on the order of 10 to 25 miles per hour. Certainly not dangerous. Uh, 52 degrees around lunchtime and 40s to low 50s as we head through the evening. Should feel excellent. Maybe a quick pop-up shower during the afternoon for the first day of spring. High temperatures here. We're looking at generally 40s and 50s. The cooler air to the west, especially the Berkshires in southern Vermont. You get the 50s from Boston down toward Taunton and towards the Buzzards Bay region. Of course, tomorrow, a big day for us here. One that many have been looking forward to. The first day of spring, which means the sun is moving to the north side of the equator. We get more direct rays. Believe it or not, as you head towards summer, this we're actually farther away from the sun than we are during the winter. It's all about the angle of which we're getting that sunlight. That gives us the season in the equinox at 1257 as we head toward tomorrow afternoon. Friday looking quiet and great. Another system on the way this weekend. We'll talk about that and the colder weather it brings. Coming up next half hour. Jonathan? Eric, we'll see you then. Thanks. A drop in support for casinos. There's a new WBUR poll and shows only 46% of people in the Bay State are now in favor of the gaming facilities. Now that's down from the 60% who voted in favor of gaming back in 2012. Opponents hope to repeal the law in the fall. And now there's a new roadblock to casino plans at Suffolk Downs. The state says the 30 racehorse barns that line the track are historic landmarks. The Herald reports that Suffolk Downs wants to move the barns, but owners are now in negotiations with the state's historic commission in doing that. Casino supporters say that problems like this could force Mohegan Sun to pull out altogether. Well, emergency crews rushed to the Sumner, Sumner Tunnel, but no need for concern on this one. But still to come, the lessons learned during a simulated crash and fire. Plus, ATMs are about to get even more convenient for all of us. But coming up next, the new machines coming to a bank near you and what they're capable of. Now let's check in with Jack to see what's coming up next at 6. Jack? All right, uh, John Dawson Paula, thank you very much. A woman flying to Boston suffers a stroke right over the Atlantic. I couldn't do anything. Couldn't do absolutely nothing. What happened next, the doctors say, was crucial to saving her life. Then, a Wednesday child, about 6'17 tonight, Lisa Marie. She's a sweet 10-year-old girl. Look at time she acts a lot older. Tonight, she describes for us the perfect family. 
All this week, Reed's Ferry Sheds are 10% off. Every Reed's Ferry Shed 10% off list price now through Sunday, April 13th. See five acres of sheds on display at Reed's Ferry. Get better quality than the box store and save 10% on the shed price. Go online to reedsferry.com. Order this week and save 10% during the spring sale. Call 888-85-SHEDS. 10% off a Reed's Ferry Shed. You got a good one. specially priced so you can get thousands off MSRP. Current non-GM owners use your special value pricing to lease this 2014 Verano for around $199 per month. Find your dealer at BuickDealer.com. Five facts about Obamacare. Senator Gene Shaheen cast the deciding vote for Obamacare. Then over 20,000 Granite Staters saw their coverage canceled. Obamacare offers only one insurer for New Hampshire's individual market. Nearly half of our state's hospitals aren't covered. So when Shaheen says, Everyone will have the freedom to keep their health care plan if they like it. Tell her to keep her word and work to clean up this health care mess. It's the Toyota number one for everyone national sales event. Toyota is number one in what matters most to everyone. Value. Now we're making you number one with nationwide savings. Get a lowest ever 178 a month lease on an all-wheel drive RAV4 with no cost maintenance included. Or get a number one deal on an all-wheel drive RAV4 with 1.9 for 60. Number one for everyone ends March 31st. Toyota, let's go places. Well, they're convenient if you're running low on cash, but ATMs aren't just for making withdrawals or deposits anymore. They're not. As Kate Merrill explains, the money machines are getting a high-tech upgrade. Hi, Carlos. Carlos is the man behind the screen at the ATM. Instead of walking into the bank to talk with a teller, some bank customers can now do just about all of their business with video, a phone, and a pin pad. Now that expert, whether that be a, a loan consultant or a financial planning consultant, that person can be available across a wide dispersed geography. Banks are also installing new ATM tools to let customers pay bills, send money to friends, or start the transaction from a smartphone. To be able to take your mobile phone and pre-stage a transaction on mobile and then be able to go up to the ATM and very, very quickly finish that transaction. Bank of America has rolled out its ATM with Teller Assist in several cities, including Boston, allowing customers to bank outside normal business hours. So is this the end of the traditional bank teller? It's really shifting the job of a teller, not eliminating it, because they're still there for customers with questions about their needs and can refer products and services as well. And there's another low-tech change with many of these upgraded ATMs. Instead of just dispensing $20 bills, more banks are letting customers withdraw ones, fives, and tens. Kate it. Merrill, WBZ oh, News. Oh, That's really smart. It really is. Good. All right, on the hunt for Madeline McCann. The little girl disappeared seven years ago from a resort in Portugal, still to come. Who police say may have taken her. Plus, we have proof that cars really can fly. And why you may be seeing one taking off near an airport in New England. But first, this local man lost his mother when her Toyota suddenly accelerated and crashed. Why he's getting some personal satisfaction out of an automaker's billion-dollar punishment. Marathon Monday, will you be running? Share your story with WBZ at cbsboston.com slash mymarathon. What motivates you to run, and are you running for a cause? Upload your pictures, tell us about your training. Every runner has a story. We want to know yours. WBZ and cbsboston.com. Your official home of the Boston Marathon. Today's weather on WBZ is brought to you by your New England Chevy dealers. The all-new Chevy Silverado. 
from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickups on the road. The truck that beats any Ford F-150 in fuel economy and the 2014 North American Truck of the Year. And now, during Chevy Truck Month, the price you see is the price you pay for a 2014 Chevy Silverado. Now, use Special Truck Month pricing to get a total value of over $7,500 on the Silverado All-Star Edition with best-in-class V8 fuel economy. Visit your New England Chevy dealer. Imagine finding the furniture you love at low sale prices. Now imagine upgrading to your choice of fabric at no extra charge. It's all possible at the Boston Interior's Custom Upholstery Sale. All our upholstery is made in the USA from quality materials you can trust to last. And this month only, it's all on sale. All chairs, sofas, sleepers, and sectionals. Plus, custom order any available fabric at the same price as stock. Come in soon and save. Sale ends March 31st. Tonight's primetime lineup is brought to you by the all-new 2014 Jeep Cherokee, a 2013 top IIHS safety pick. I must begin my journey, which will cause me to miss the end of the game. The X1 Entertainment Operating System lets you watch live TV anywhere. Can I watch it in Butterfly Valley? Sure. Can I watch it in Glimmering Lake? Yep, here too. What about the dark? Castle. You call that defense? Come on. Watch live TV anywhere. The X1 Entertainment Operating System, only from Xfinity. It's the Toyota number one for everyone national sales event. Toyota is number one in what matters most to everyone. Value. Now we're making you number one with nationwide savings. Get a lowest ever number one lease on an all-wheel drive Venza for just $178 a month with no cost maintenance included. Or get a number one Venza deal with zero for 60. Number one for everyone ends March 31st. Toyota, let's go places. David Wade and Kerry Conley, mornings on WBZ News. We're following breaking news at 5.30. A former Cambridge police officer arrested in connection with a hit and run. Investigators say that Lawrence Stead was driving on Mass Avenue when he hit a man walking. That man is now in critical condition. Police found Stead's car late this morning. This Framingham man charged in a high-speed crash. Investigators say Peter Curtis had his 10- and 15-year-old niece and nephew in his car when he slammed into a utility pole on purpose. The girl was seriously hurt. Police say he was driving nearly 100 miles per hour. And Toyota agrees to pay a record fine in a safety recall after deadly crashes linked to sudden acceleration. The company now will pay out $1.2 billion in the largest fine ever against a car manufacturer. A federal investigation found that Toyota hid information about crashes which caused deaths and injuries. The problems involved Camrys, Avalons, and some Lexus models. It became public in 2009. Those cars would suddenly accelerate, causing drivers to lose control. Attorney General Eric Holder says the company was more interested in protecting its reputation than dealing with the problems. Put simply, Toyota's conduct was shameful. It showed a blatant disregard for systems and laws designed to look after the safety of consumers. Ten years ago, a Massachusetts woman driving a Camry died after her car unexpectedly sped up on Route 93 and crashed. As Beth Germano explains, her son is glad Toyota's finally accepted responsibility for her death. There's always been days where I've spent hours and hours just thinking about it. Thinking about how David Kafua's mother Maria could have suddenly shot across three lanes of traffic on I-93 in Wilmington in her Toyota Camry ten years ago. It was the route she took to work every morning. I couldn't see her losing control or anything like that, like her speeding. So I just automatically assumed, like, something had to be wrong with the car. His theory couldn't be proven, as the police report lays out how she was broadsided by another vehicle. Maria Kafua was in a coma for eight months before she died. Now David's convinced Toyota's safety problem with sudden acceleration was to blame, and frustrated the company took so long to admit it. All these years later, they're finally agreeing, but kind of behind closed doors. They don't want to agree totally to the people, but they'll agree to the government that they knew something was wrong. The family filed a complaint with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration that was never resolved and didn't have the means to join a suit to take on Toyota, a suit that would drag on for years. The little guy never wins against the big guys, so I'm, I'm glad the government did something and 
you know, took action and made them accountable for what they did wrong. David Kafua says his mother is with him every day, and today he believes he has the answer he's been searching for. What he'll get from the Toyota settlement is satisfaction. It kind of closes, like I said, some open doors that made me think a lot about it. Now, by settling the case, Toyota can avoid future prosecution. The company made more than $5 billion in the last fiscal quarter. I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Well, it's the uh, last night of winter, and you know it wouldn't go down without a fight. We have winter weather advisories out for especially Western Mass, Central Mass, and into New Hampshire and Vermont. Not a lot of snow on the way, but some flakes and some sleet pellets mixed in. One batch right here along the East Coast and more rainfall off toward the West. That's going to bring in a pretty good soaking during the overnight hours. We'll all be gone by the time we wake up tomorrow. A couple of these uh, are in our returns. They're more sleet pellets than snowflakes. That may be the story as we head through this evening. Temperature is not cold enough to cause a lot of issues out there on the roads, but as the night wears on, the rain will pick up. The snow line will move farther off toward the north. And at any rate, the snow accumulation will be quite limited. Looking at about a coating to an inch by tomorrow morning's drive, we should just be cloudy, but drier. So there's the coating to an inch from Worcester northward, 1 to 3, right down to the New Hampshire, Massachusetts border. Some bigger snows you move up toward the White Mountain region. We do have warmer temps on the way and feel like spring, just in time for the first day of spring. Details on that come about 10 minutes. John. Eric, we'll see you then. Thank you. Pro-Russian forces now have taken control of a Ukrainian naval base in Crimea. Moscow is now racing to incorporate the region into Russia. As Craig Boswell shows us, the country is now ignoring threats and sanctions from Washington. Pro-Russian forces easily seized control of the Ukrainian naval headquarters in Crimea. Ukrainian troops in the region are outnumbered and outgunned, and the acting Ukrainian government is looking for a way to pull them out. The continued efforts by Russian forces to seize Ukrainian military installations are creating a dangerous situation. Following Crimea's vote to join Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin is outlining steps to annex the territory, with Russian lawmakers expected to make it official by week's end. We have seen Russia rip up the international rule book, creating the most serious security crisis since the end of the Cold War. President Obama plans to meet with leaders of the G7 nations next week to coordinate a response to Russia's actions. The White House says sanctions on Russian officials, including the freezing of assets and visa bans, can also be expanded. Vice President Joe Biden wrapped up a two-day trip to the region, assuring support to allies who were once a part of the Soviet bloc. As long as Russia continues on this dark path, they will face increasing political and economic isolation. Along the border with Russia, Ukrainian forces are preparing for a fight. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon will make another attempt to defuse the crisis, meeting with President Putin Thursday. Craig Boswell for CBS News, the White House. A local jury just convicted a Brockton man of murder. Frank Webb III killed Jennifer Chisara in June of 2011. He was in a cell phone store arguing with another man. When that fight moved out onto the sidewalk, Webb opened fire, hitting the grandmother of 12 in the back. She had just walked out of a church. Webb received a mandatory life sentence with the possibility of parole in 15 years. This morning, state troopers pulled over an extremely oversized vehicle driving on the Mass Pike. Check it out, this massive truck weighed more than 172,000 pounds. That's more than 92,000 overweight, and it didn't have any permits. The truck also had eight violations with the potential of nearly $8,000 in fines. So it's now parked at the Westfield Barracks on the Pike until crews can take it apart or until permits are issued. Well, coming up, what close encounter a Massachusetts couple had with a pair of bobcats. Plus, there's new information in the Madeline McCann mystery. Could other crimes be connected to the little girl's disappearance? Extended its $4 down sale for eight days only. Join Workout World for just $4 down and only 10 bucks a month with no commitment. We're going to give you more for four. Sale ends March 25th at midnight only at Workout World. It's award season. So what do Dodge and I have in common? They love a four-wheel drive. I love a four-letter word. Dodge is fabulous engineers. I mean, they're so good. I have hired them to do my next phase. I used to babysit the Dodge brothers. Awful kid. Anyhow, I gotta go. My face is melting. Ice! I need ice! Well-qualified lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2014 Dodge Journey SE all-wheel drive for $169 a month.
This week, don't miss the most exciting event in college basketball. Who will be stopped and who will be unstoppable? Catch all the game day action on WBZ. Sponsored locally by Yeezy Court Allergy 24 Hour. Stop more of what makes you miserable. The most effective class of treatment for nasal allergies are 24-hour prescription nasal sprays. And now, one's available without one. New Nasacort. It relieves your worst nasal allergy symptoms, even congestion, for 24 hours. Nasacort stops more of what makes you miserable. Don't miss the Bach Honda Spring into a Honda sales event at one of our two great locations. Bach Honda on the Auto Mile, Route 1 in Norwood, or Bach Honda West on Littleton Road in Westford, Mass. Drive home a brand new Honda CRV for just $119 per month. That's right, Lisa, a brand new Honda CRV for just $119 per month. Two great Bach Honda locations, one legendary low Bach Honda price. Marvin windows and doors mean more to the people that choose them because they do more for their homes than any other window. Only Marvin combines a century of industry-leading design innovation with unmatched quality, durability, and energy efficiency for exceptional value. Which Marvin will be your Marvin? Now serving Cape Cod and the Islands, Marvin Design Gallery by MHC is a full-service premier Marvin dealer. From displays and home-like settings to design, financing, and installation, visit any of our locations in Hyannis, Martha's Vineyard, or Nantucket today. At GMC, incredible thinking always comes first. Like the GMC Terrain, the first small SUV to offer an EPA-estimated 32 highway miles per gallon. The first in its class to offer a standard rear vision camera. And for the first time ever, during the GMC Open House, most 2014 GMC models are specially priced, so you can get thousands off NSRV. For this month, switch to GMC with special value pricing to lease this GMC Terrain for around $189 per month. Find your dealer at gmcdealer.com. Workout World extended its $4 down sale for eight days only. Join Workout World for just $4 down and only 10 bucks a month with no commitment. We're going to give you more for four. Sale ends March 25th at midnight only at Workout World. Tonight, a possible break in the Madeline McCann case. Investigators are now looking for a man who assaulted five other British girls vacationing in Portugal. McCann vanished from a resort in Portugal back in 2007. Detectives linked this man to dozens of break-ins at holiday villas between 2004 and 2010. Madeline was nearly four years old when she disappeared. You might want to keep your eyes to the sky in the next couple of weeks because you could be seeing a flying car. Massachusetts-based Terra Fuega plans to test their flying car at Pease Airport in New Hampshire. Now, the two-seater hybrid can drive down the road, there you go, and then it can also get off the road in a big way, right up into the skies. Its creators hope that the plane will fly above 3,000 feet. The cool new vehicle takes off at just 65 miles an hour. Tonight, emergency crews are calling a drill in the Sumner Tunnel a real success. The Sumner shut down last night for an emergency drill. Crews responded to a simulated crash and fire inside the tunnel. They had to coordinate even though they didn't have communication. I think it went well. Uh, again, the cooperation between Boston Fire, uh, the state police and the tunnels, and uh, Boston EMS uh, were great as always. Uh, we're always looking to improve, and uh, this is how we improve. Good to know it worked. Police detoured traffic to the Ted Williams Tunnel during the overnight drill. You're starting to see these things all over the place, but are e-cigarettes a safer alternative to tobacco or just a way, another way to get young people hooked? The growing debate, that's coming up right after the break. I think you're going to like the forecast. After a bit of a cold stretch, we get a break, at least for several days. We'll let you know how long it will stick around for in just a few minutes. American-owned, family-operated. Since 1829, no boy, just lager. America's oldest brewery, Yingling. A man pioneers a way to see the unseen. Radar, forever providing safer journeys. The Mazda 6 uses radar in its available class-exclusive suite of seven safety features for greater confidence behind the wheel. Introducing the Mazda 6. What do you drive? Now, lease the 2014 Mazda 6 Sport for $199 a month for 36 months. Taylor is having its biggest fashion sale of the season. And buy more, save more on select items. Must have handbags at 25% off. 
Buy more, save more on men's sportswear. And buy more, save more on women's sportswear. Get 30% off on the latest men's shoes. And buy more, save more on women's shoes too. At the biggest fashion sale of the season. Sale ends Tuesday, March 25th. Get into the store or shop online at Lord & Taylor. My name is Bill Healy. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Kaplan Joint Center. We have performed thousands of hip and knee replacement operations, and our patient experience is among the best in Boston. I'm Dr. Joe McCarthy. Our staff focuses solely on joint replacement and great outcomes for our patients. We use research-driven surgical innovations to get you back doing the things you want. To learn more, call 855-NEE-HIP. If you're suffering from arthritis of the hip, knee, or shoulder, we'll see you within 48 hours. Winter's in full swing, and Butchica's in tax-free Salem, New Hampshire, is your place to gear up for ski and snowboarding this year. Come in, get expert advice from our knowledgeable and experienced staff, browse our huge selection, and take advantage of our low prices on the latest equipment. Plus, get a lift ticket to Jay Peak with the purchase of any ski or snowboard package over $499. Jay Peak, the most snow in eastern North America. Butchica Ski Shop, your skiing and riding connection, on Route 28 in tax-free Salem, New Hampshire. It's the Toyota number one for everyone national sales event. Now we're making you number one with savings. Get a lowest ever 118 a month Corolla Sport lease with no cost maintenance included. Hurry, it ends March 31st. Toyota, let's go places. In a crowd of light beers, how long does it take to find the Yingling Light Lager? About that long. 99 calories, 100% authentic lager. Yingling Light Lager. Rethink your light beer. This is the Name Your Price tool. It gives you options based on your budget. It's a piece of cake. I was told there would be cake. Get a free quote at Progressive.com. CBS Money Watch stock update is brought to you by Buick. Tonight, a warning going out about the dangers of those e-cigarettes. The state of Minnesota has been reporting an alarming increase in the number of young people poisoned by the liquid nicotine. And here in Massachusetts, there's growing concern that e-cigarettes are luring teenagers into addiction. There's no odor, and what looks like smoke is actually water vapor. And I finally found a smarter alternative to cigarettes. We're talking about e-cigarettes, and they're catching on with teens. Between 2011 and 2012, the self-reported rate of e-cigarette usage in high school doubled. There's no tar or other carcinogenic chemicals, but most have nicotine, a highly addictive drug. For kids, it's cheaper than, than buying a pack of, uh, pack of cigarettes. We have seen the emergence of the e-cigarettes. Kingsboro High School principal Michael Woodlock says while they may not be as dangerous as cigarettes, his message to students is clear. It's not accepted and it's punishable by suspension. The lesser of two evils. David Burshad is the owner of Vape Daddies, a custom e-cigarette shop in Newton. He won't even let anyone inside the shop who's under 18. But he says for adults like Justin Peritsky, electronic cigarettes are an important option. I was opening my third pack every day. Now Justin is only vaping, an alternative name that comes from the way the device works, by vaporizing the nicotine liquid inside. The 21-year-old says he feels better since he switched. You know, I got my breath back. I can run as far as I want, and I won't be coughing up a storm. It's a way healthier alternative. But is it really? Bottom line is we don't know what we don't know about nicotine exposure from these new products. E-cigarettes aren't regulated by the FDA and haven't been extensively studied. But there is one thing UMass toxicology expert Dr. Edward Boyer is sure about. Children are more susceptible to nicotine addiction than adults. All I know is that this is something that I hope my children never get into. But experts say there's a lot working against the kids here. There are child-friendly flavorings like sweet tart and cotton candy. The term vaping itself eliminates the stigma of cigarettes. And today's kids are exposed in a way they haven't been with traditional tobacco. I do vape in restaurants. You can vape in movie theaters. And that is true in Newton, where e-cigarettes are legal in public places. But they're banned in Boston, and there's a move on Beacon Hill to make that ban statewide.
Jonathan Apollo, no more California dreaming for Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen. Coming up on our 6 o'clock news, just how much the couple is hoping to make off the sale of their multi-million dollar L.A. mansion. And breaking news, our first look at the retired police officer now under arrest for a hit and run. Coming up next, the big question about this accident that police are still trying to answer. One way to really save money on carpet and hardwood flooring, buy direct. Skip the middleman. That's what National Floors Direct is all about. I saved hundreds. At National Floors Direct, we'll beat anyone's price by 15% or it's free. Call 888-400-FLOOR for a free estimate. Don't miss the home show, March 21st through 23rd at Patriot Place in Foxborough at the Dana-Farber Fieldhouse. Plenty of free parking. Get special deals on all your home improvement needs and so much more. This home show has it all. Details at NewEnglandHomeShows.com. Show me the movies with the Arnold Schwarzenegger with the stunts and loud explosions and all the muscles. I want to see the comedy programming with the people sitting in the living room with the children. Watch Brother. Yeah, I want to see the real housewives. Rock, play. All right, we want play. Jimmy, sleep. It's been hours. We told you the X1 Entertainment operating system really does work with any voice. Cool. What's on now? Go Control your TV play. with your voice. The X1 Entertainment operating system. Only from Xfinity. Yeah. Wherever spring finds you, a Subaru with symmetrical all-wheel drive can help you enjoy it. Get ready for spring in a brand new Subaru Outback. Awarded Top Safety Pick Plus by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Drive home a brand new Subaru Outback. Well equipped for only $23,795. Plus, get 0% financing for up to 36 months. Get a great deal and go love spring. TrustinChoice.com, Massachusetts independent insurance agents, protecting the most important things in your life at the best possible price is what it's all about. Representing the Andover companies. TrustedChoice.com. suburbs look at that stare two bobcats spending hours in a couple's backyard and they made themselves right at home in tingsboro bobby says to talk to the husband and wife who were amazed when they looked out back and that's what they saw my neighbor wanda called me and said bruce look out your back door when bruce wade looked out saturday afternoon this is what he saw two bobcats in the snow in his backyard my cat's about 15 pounds and the female was about three times the size of the cat and the male was Another 15 pounds heavier than that, so I was actually pretty surprised how big they were. He made his way to an upstairs window for a better view. When wife Pam came home, he yelled, you've got to come see this. I was in awe. You get that stuff on the Discovery Channel, and, but to see it in your own backyard was, was pretty cool. For two hours, the couple watched. To get these incredible photos, Bruce got creative. As you zoom in with the camera, it gets a little fuzzy, so I said, well, how about lining up the binocular with the camera? And, you know, it was a little tricky, but once I got it, we got some pretty good pictures. Their Teamsboro yard backs up to a conservation area, so wildlife here is nothing new. Turkeys, deer, coyotes, coyotes, never a bobcat. It ends up bobcats, though, which left tracks in the snow, are rarely seen, and even more rare for so long in the open. The weights have chickens, but these two are only concerned with each other. It is mating season, and yes, this backyard courtship eventually led to more. Every now and then she'd get up and she'd look, but as soon as she started to take a step, he came out and got right in her face, like, you're not moving. Looks like 62 days for the gest so gestation period, so in about two months, we'll, uh, we'll see if uh, there's a couple little kids running around. In Teensboro, Bobby Sisk, WBZ News. If they give that video to the Discovery Channel, it might need an R rating. <laughs> Just needed a place to hang out, I guess. Well, we have much more news still ahead. That's going to do it for us at 5 o'clock, but the news at 6 starts right now. Breaking news, a retired police officer arrested in a hit and run. Out on bail, but breaking the rules? New trouble for a lunch lady charged with having sex with a teenager. Saved by her vacation plans, a woman traveling to Boston suffers a stroke over the Atlantic. They must have told the captain, you know, put the pedal to the metal. From the flight crew to the Mass General doctors, the team worked behind her miraculous recovery. Many towns up around 50 tomorrow, but will it be a brief stay or stick around for a while? Live.
Live from our studios in Boston. WBZ News at 6 starts right now. We begin tonight with breaking news. A retired police officer arrested in a hit and run. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Jack Williams. The hit and run on Mass Ave left a man in critical condition. Let's get right to Lauren Lemanchak. She has late details live in Boston. Lauren. Well, Jack, that retired Cambridge police officer is now here in Boston police custody. Lauren Stead had 35 years on the job before retiring in 2009. Now he's charged with hitting a pedestrian and then driving off. We just got this mug shot of Stead. The 69-year-old will be arraigned tomorrow on charges of leaving the scene of an accident causing serious injury. That crash happened at 6 o'clock this morning in front of the Mass Avenue T station. Police say the victim may have been in the crosswalk when he was struck by a gray mercury. The driver sped off toward Columbus Ave. The victim, a middle-aged man, was rushed to Boston Medical Center with serious injuries. Tonight, investigators still do not know his identity. Hours later, police found the suspect vehicle at Lawrence Stead's home in Quincy. It was towed to Boston as evidence and Stead was placed under arrest. Now, at last check, that victim is still in critical condition. As for Stead, he will have the opportunity to post bail, but right now he is still in custody. Live in the South End tonight, Lauren Lemanchek, WBZ News. Jack, back to you. Thank you, Lauren. Coming up new now at 6 o'clock, an emergency on board. I couldn't move my hands. I couldn't move my leg. I couldn't move anything. A woman suffers a stroke on a flight, but some incredible teamwork saved her life. She was actually on her way to a vacation here in Boston when the stroke happened. Linda Keir and her husband were on a flight from London to Boston over the Atlantic when she had a stroke. And as Ken McLeod tells us, the pilot actually sped up the flight to get her to Boston faster. That was the problem you were having. Linda Keir got a good look at her once blocked carotid artery this afternoon. I cannot believe how lucky I am. It's, it's like there was an angel with me. She and husband Billy were flying here from Scotland Friday to visit relatives when sharp chest pain rendered her right arm and leg limp and she couldn't speak. Her husband grabbed a flight attendant and a doctor just happened to be on board. Within a couple of minutes he looked and said, no, this lady's having a stroke here, we need to get her to the hospital. The pilot throttled up and a call ahead alerted Logan, paramedics and the stroke team at Mass General with the clock ticking. That's critical because time is brain. And every minute that the brain is deprived of blood, brain cells are dying. Hence, a fast-track approach that shortcuts hours of traditional evaluation. Within 13 minutes of her arrival here, Linda was getting the clot-busting drug TPA. And within 40 minutes, she'd been scanned and sent to the operating room where surgeons removed a blood clot in her brain. And in fact, in the operating room, she was able to lift the arm again and start talking. That's because the speedy remedy limited what could have been far-reaching damage to only a tiny portion of Linda's brain, the kind of outcome doctors here hope to make the standard everywhere. For now, though, Linda thanks God her flight was Boston-bound. This was the flight <laughs> that was meant to be. She's not 100% yet, but she's getting close with a long list of people to thank. I would say she got upgraded to first-class stroke care. Boston, as it turns out, might well have been a life-saving destination. Thank you so much. At Mass General, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. You know, we're so lucky to live here, are we? Spring arrives tomorrow, and we're going to feel the difference, at least for a day. Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher joins us now with the AccuWeather forecast. Eric? Hey there, Jack. It's nice to see some more 40s and 50s on our temperature trend than 20s and 30s. Just, just one of them, but it's still ways off. We won't worry about it just yet. So a little reprieve from all this wintry weather just in time here in the final evening of winter. We do have to bring up the word again, I'm sorry. It's a nasty word this year, but winter weather advisories, Western Mass and Central Massachusetts from about 8 o'clock tonight till 9 o'clock tomorrow. Here's why we've got some precipitation moving in. It's mostly rain, but there will be some sleep pellets and some snowflakes mixed in. So a little bit of dicey travel here and there. The rain line is going to move northward as we head through the night. And where it is raining, which is most of the region, it will come down heavily at times overnight tonight. Could see up to three quarters of an inch of total rain. It'll be moving out by 5 a.m. It's just some sprinkles by the commute time. It's just going to be dry and gray. We'll see increasing sun tomorrow and temperatures moving on up in terms of snow. A very low impact event, a coating to about an inch, one to three into southern New Hampshire. We'll talk about how long that warm air will stick around and well, we might see another storm potential coming up in a few. Lisa? All right, Eric, thank you. Now at six o'clock, bloody and battered, a man led away in shackles charged with trying to commit a shocking killing. 
Police say he tried to kill his nephew and another child by intentionally crashing into a telephone pole. And as Christina Hager shows us, his last words to the kids before the crash are chilling. A death run is what prosecutors say he called it. A look at his mangled car may explain why. A look at Peter Curtis's mugshot shows he's lucky to be alive. His explanation? The Framingham Parks and Rec worker says it was a mistake. Earlier, we only saw a silhouette covered with a blanket in Framingham District Court accused of trying to kill his niece and nephew. Accelerated his vehicle to about 100 miles an hour, turned around to the 15-year-old nephew and said, you better buckle up, we're going to go on a death run. It was St. Patrick's Day. Curtis had picked the kids up at their mother's house, his sister, and was giving them a ride to their mom's workplace. When police say he slammed into this telephone pole on Pleasant Street, his neighbor says it doesn't sound like him. No, that was really too bad. Yeah. It didn't seem like anything was wrong with him. But oh, no, not at, no, not at all. His attorney admits Curtis was speeding, but says the prosecutors claim 100 miles per hour is an exaggeration. When you're driving too fast in a car and get in an accident, you know, stupid things happen and people get hurt sometimes. The crash sent all three to the hospital, and Curtis's niece is still there with some serious injuries. He is being held without bail. In Framingham, Christina Hager, WBZ News. A landmark settlement involving Toyota over a safety problem that led to deaths and injuries. Toyota has accepted blame, and they're going to pay for it. Toyota will shell out $1.2 billion to the federal government. That's the largest fine ever against a car company. Toyota recalled 10 million cars because of sudden acceleration. A Wilmington woman was killed back in 2003 when her Camry shot across three lanes of traffic on I-93. Her son is glad the government went after Toyota. The little guy never wins against the big guy, so I'm, I'm glad the government did something and, you know, took action and made them accountable for what they wrong, you know, because a little guy doesn't have, you know, resources or lawyers or time. Well, case in point, the family had filed a complaint with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, but their case was never resolved. Well, school kids in Douglas will get more protection now after a carbon monoxide scare. Nine people, most of them kids, were taken to hospitals Monday. A boiler malfunction, and that filled the town's early learning center with carbon monoxide. The Douglas schools didn't have carbon monoxide detectors, but that is all changing. Those detectors are being added to all of the town schools this week. Well, there's a new step forward tonight in redeveloping South Boston's Fan Pier area. Mayor Marty Walsh and developers broke ground on the fourth tower in the project. The 17-story building at 100 Northern Avenue will be the new home for the law firm Goodwin Proctor. What a story this is. A major step forward for a professional dancer who was injured in the Boston Marathon attacks. We are all cheering this evening. She is dancing again thanks to a special prosthetic leg made at MIT. Adrian Hazlitt Davis danced the Roomba today at the International TED Conference in Vancouver. These are pictures. Here she is dancing at that conference. The bionic leg was designed specifically for her at MIT's Media Lab by a scientist who lost both of his legs in 1982. Hazlitt Davis just released this statement, quote, it was invigorating to dance publicly with my new leg, but also to realize that my return to dance may have the power to inspire other people to reach for their goals and be proactive in their lives. My first dance, happening to be so near the anniversary of the marathon bombing, stands as a reminder that I am a survivor, not a victim. Great story. Good for her. Coming up on WBZ News, a lunch lady in a lot of trouble. Charged with having sex with a teenager, what prosecutors believe is now happening that has the judge so angry. Plus, the home's brand new, but Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen are on the move. The couple's plans to leave the West Coast and a peek at their new Brookline estate. Then coming up on Wednesday, child, Lisa Marie. She's cute, she's active, she loves to swim, <laughs> but she really needs a home. We'll have that story coming up. And we'll take a look at some milder days in the forecast. The country doesn't look quite as bleak right now. Spring around the corner. We've got the outlook right after the break. Yeah, world's
extended its $4 down sale for eight days only. Join the workout world for just $4 down and only 10 bucks a month with no commitment. We're going to give you more for four. Sale ends March 25th at midnight only at Workout World. Don't miss the Bach Toyota number one for everyone sales event. Bach Toyota is the number one Toyota dealer in sales in New England. Drive home a brand new Toyota Camry for just $99 per month. Come on down. That's right, Lisa. Brand new Toyota Camry, America's best-selling automobile that gets 35 miles per gallon for only $99 per month. Imagine finding the furniture you love at low sale prices. Now imagine upgrading to your choice of fabric at no extra charge. It's all possible at the Boston Interior's Custom Upholstery Sale. All our upholstery is made in the USA from quality materials you can trust to last. And this month only, it's all on sale. All chairs, sofas, sleepers, and sectionals. Plus, custom order any available fabric at the same price as stock. Come in soon and save. Sale ends March 31st. Remember when you had your first dental exam? When your braces were finally taken off? When you may have had a dental emergency and it was quickly treated? When you looked at your smile and you were so happy with it that you smiled back? Chances are the Massachusetts Dental Society was there for you then, as we have been for generations of families since 1864. When you trust your mouth to an MDS member, remember, you're always in good hands. Five facts about Obamacare. Senator Jean Shaheen cast the deciding vote for Obamacare. Then over 20,000 Granite Staters saw their coverage canceled. Obamacare offers only one insurer for New Hampshire's individual market. Nearly half of our state's hospitals aren't covered. So when Shaheen says, everyone will have the freedom to keep their health care plan if they like it. Tell her to keep her word and work to clean up this health care mess. A man pioneers a way to see the unseen. Radar. Forever providing safer journeys. The Mazda 6 uses radar in its available class-exclusive suite of seven safety features for greater confidence behind the wheel. Introducing the Mazda 6. What do you drive? Now, lease the 2014 Mazda 6 Sport for $199 a month for 36 months. Extended its $4 down sale for eight days only. Join the workout world for just $4 down and only 10 bucks a month with no commitment. We're going to give you more for four. Sale ends March 25th at midnight only at Workout World. A cafeteria worker charged with having sex with a teenager is supposed to be staying away from kids. But prosecutors say she is not following the rules. And as Bill Shields shows us, the judge in charge of today's hearing is not happy. Janelle Foley, a mother of four, she's now been charged with aggravated statutory rape. Police say the victim is a 15-year-old boy, the son of one of Foley's friends. And now prosecutors say Foley has had contact with another minor in her neighborhood. Um, we have received information as recent as today that still needs to be investigated that Ms. Foley has had contact with children under 18, uh, potentially, other than her own. Foley was working for the Weymouth Schools in food services. She's since been let go after police say she had sex on several occasions with a 15-year-old boy. Now there are allegations she's been in contact with another boy in her neighborhood. She and her husband said nothing outside of court today, but her attorney says she's innocent. In the beginning, they originally said that there was two children, or two children under 15, that were involved. That's not the case. There's only one child, and his um, story is suspect, to say the least. While she's out on bail, the judge has ordered that Janelle Foley have no contact whatsoever with anyone under the age of 18, including social media contact. In Dedham, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Well, let's move on to some brighter news here. We do have some great news in the weather department. Plants have all said, we're done with winter, we're boycotting it, we're moving on to the next season, they're starting to poke out of the ground. Jack in Lexington sent this one in. A couple snowdrop bulbs that are going through, even though there's still a little bit of snow and ice on the ground itself, and more snowdrops here coming in from Roy. This one coming in from the south end of Boston. So as the snow melts, 
life shows up yet again. Tonight, not too hard to take. It's 37 in Boston, 40 in Worcester. And you notice the temperature is really no one very close to the freezing mark. And as this rain and some sleet and snow mix moves in, that will help to limit any of its impact. We've got a bigger sprawling storm system swirling its way right about over a Lake Huron and Superior at the moment. And as it moves toward us, it brings some of those sleet pellets. Had a couple reports of ice falling on down. I think this is mainly going to be a rain event, but there will be a little bit of wintry mix. So be a little cautious as you drive around tonight. As we progress through the overnight hours, the rain's going to start to pick up in intensity. Pretty big batch moves through around the midnight time frame and into the early hours of tomorrow morning. Could see up to three quarters of an inch of total rainfall out of this one. But as we approach the commute, things will be drying out. We'll start with the clouds, and then we'll work in some sunshine and overall a pretty good day for the start of spring and a pretty low impact event around here. Thinking about a coating to one inch of snow and some ice possible around Worcester up toward the New Hampshire border, one to three as you move into southern New Hampshire. Anything more than that would be up toward the White Mountains. So temperatures hovering in the 30s. It'll be a chilly rain as we head through tonight, especially around, say, the Mass Pike area. For the Cape and the Islands, you'll actually stay around 40 degrees or so overnight uh, tonight. So maybe you could call it a mild rain compared to what we've had to deal with this winter. In terms of tomorrow, we've got sunrise at 647. We'll be drying out a lot of clouds. They'll start to break apart. Working in some sunshine for lunch. 52 degrees around lunchtime, not bad. It will be gusty outside, apart from course for spring weather. And then for tomorrow evening, maybe just a slight chance of a pop-up shower. Warmest air will be in eastern Massachusetts, cooler to the west. Berkshire is staying in the 30s, a high only around 41 in Keene. So it won't be exactly warm everywhere on the southern New England map. Then we head toward the weekend on Saturday. Another system moves in. Most of this energy looks like it's going to head to our north. That will put down some fresh snow for the ski areas. Around here, we might just get into a mild wedge of air approaching 50 degrees. Pretty mild start to the weekend. Cooler air on Sunday, but not bitterly cold. Highs near 40. The really cold stuff moves in on Sunday night, and we'll feel that for Monday and Tuesday. Another dome of Arctic air heading down. We'll also watch the potential for a little more storminess next week. Some indications, something to watch Tuesday night into Wednesday, but it's still a long ways out. Lots of time to monitor. So we take like a look at a nice break in the temperature department with the 40s on Friday. Nice day, breezy. Saturday up near 50 degrees, just a few rain showers. Sunday near 40, which in itself, not too bad. The cold stuff is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, but it'll be almost, uh, almost be April. We know that this cold can't last forever. Jack, Lisa, back to you. At least we hope it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Too bad we can't just start every sportscast talking about the Bruins, right? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> Celtics, uh, they're another story. There. They are another story, but you know what? They're going to be all right. In the long run. As long as, they keep, long run yeah. as long as they keep losing, because then we want that draft pick. So it's not such a bad thing. Celtics, they take on the Miami Heat tonight at the Garden. Celtics have lost five in a row. LeBron James scored 43 points in Cleveland last night. I just hope they keep them under 50 tonight. Bruins extended their winning streak to 10 games last night in New Jersey, beating the Devils 4-2. Brad Marchand and Jerome McGinley scored two goals in under a minute in the second period. Bees are two points back of the Blues, three best record in hockey. They play at Colorado on Friday. Get this, Pages proposed four rule changes to the NFL Competition Committee today, extending the goal post five feet higher, moving the ball back to the 25-yard line to snap for extra points, putting fixed cameras on the sidelines, in lines, and end zones to help with instant replay, and letting coaches challenge any play other than scoring plays. In all, there's 13 rule change proposals to be voted on at the annual league meeting next week in Orlando. In college hoops, Harvard is back in the big dance for the third year in a row. Tomorrow afternoon, they'll dance against Cincinnati and Spokane, Washington. Harvard's a 12 seed. Cincy's a 5. Dan Rhodes says, forget about the seed. Harvard comes in with tremendous confidence. A year ago, as for 14 seed, the Crimson upset third-seeded New Mexico in round one of the NCAA tournament. And after going 26-4 this season, expectations are even higher. Plus, they have the backing of the commander-in-chief. The president picked you guys to, to upset Cincinnati. Does that mean anything extra special? Uh, I actually didn't know that. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, that, that he picked us, uh, he probably took, you know, took notice last year. Yes, last year getting that win was everything, but this year the Crimson, who returned all but one player, are ready for a long run. I mean, we we all feel that you know, as long as we you know come and play our game, that we uh, can be anybody, anybody we go up against. The Crimson will face Mick Cronin and his fifth-seeded Cincinnati Bearcats a team that went 27-6 this season and finished tied atop their league standings with defending national champion Louisville. We have a great deal of respect, you know, for their ball club and for Mick and 
what he's accomplished and, and you look at their team through the years they've always have been known in my opinion for a blue collar tough hard nosed brand of basketball same as harvard get ready for a battle dan roach to be busy sports all right, Rochi, good luck to Harvard. UMass arrived in Raleigh, North Carolina today. Well, on Friday, they'll face the winner of tonight's first-round matchup between Iowa and Tennessee. And you can see the Minutemen play right here on WBZ Friday afternoon at 2.45. And our tournament coverage here on WBZ begins tomorrow. Ohio State and Dayton kick things off at 12.15, followed by Syracuse and Western Michigan. And then looking ahead to Thursday night, we'll have Michigan taking on Wolford, followed by Texas and Arizona State right here on WBZ. And see how your March Madness bracket stacks up against mine, Dan Roaches, and players across the country. Take part in the CBS Local Bracket Challenge. Go to cbsboston.com to sign up and for rules and prize information as well. So there you go. You know, it's a fun time of year and it's going to be interesting to see, interesting to see how far my teams go. Yeah, yeah. Never mind your teams. <laughs> yeah, they were, yeah, I haven't right. picked anything yet, but uh, you know. <laughs> There's still time. A little time. There's a little time. That's right. Well, the West apparently isn't best for Tom Brady and Giselle Bunch, and they're selling their L.A. mansion. The Brentwood home's on the market now for $50 million. It cost $40 million to build. You may remember this. It was featured in Architectural Digest just a few months ago. TMZ, which broke the story, reports that Brady and Bunch want to live in the Boston area full-time, and they are in the process of building a new mansion in Brookline. Take a look. They've reportedly been pushing to have this big, beautiful house finished by July. Yeah, all that sunny weather apparently is overrated. Uh, CBS Evening News coming up in a moment at 6.30. Scott Pelley joins us live from New York with a preview. Scott? Lisa and Jack, great to be with you in Boston. We're going to have the very latest on the missing plane out of Malaysia. We have our Seth Doan in Kuala Lumpur with the very latest there. And also, we've been talking to our sources in Washington about a new role that we found out today that the FBI will be playing in the investigation. All of that and the world news coming up on the CBS Evening News in a little over 10 minutes. Scott, thank you very much. Coming up next, Wednesday's Child. Lisa Marie at first was a little camera shy, but she warmed up. I think you'll be charmed by this big girl. <laughs>
Wherever spring finds you, a Subaru with symmetrical all-wheel drive can help you enjoy it. Get ready for spring in a brand new Subaru Forester. Motor Trend's 2014 Sport Utility of the Year. Drive home a brand new Subaru Forester, a top safety pick plus for only $21,995. Plus, get 1.9% financing for up to 48 months. Get a great deal and go love spring. Aspen Dental. Your mouth. Our mission. Now on Wednesday's Child, a 10-year-old girl named Lisa Marie. And a good name for her, I think. She loves to sing and to dance. And it's safe to say she has stars in her eyes. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Marie. I'm with Jack. Yeah, are, and you're nervous. I don't believe that. Yeah. You don't seem like the nervous kind. I know. I'm not. I'm not usually nervous. Really? But for this, I am. Yeah. She is cute, this Lisa Marie. Yeah, right. In some ways, she acts like a teenager instead of a ten-year-old. But in other ways, she's still a very young girl. Things I like is singing. I like playing video games. I like watching TV. I like swimming. I took her to Plaster Fun Time in Needham, and she really enjoyed herself. But I was a little surprised when she picked out a skull and a monster to decorate. Why did you pick out such scary things? Because that's the kind of girl I am. No, I don't think so. I, I think you're fun. Sometimes. Well, I am fun, but I also like stuff like this. Here's how she answered questions about a family and fitting in. And name a perfect family. You could pick out anybody. A family with a pool. Pool? Pool. <laughs> a family with a, a kitten or a dog. I'll warn you, her favorite foods are lobster, shrimp, and octopus. I think she would greatly benefit by having an adoptive family where she's the youngest, and she can be given proper attention and lots of love. You know, she's almost like begs for this wonderful, protective, loving family. Right. And I think she's just trying to do great. I liked scary things, too, by the way, when I was 10. So, you know, the skull, that's not necessarily such a bad thing. Really? <laughs> it's well, true. What we learned about Lisa, Lisa Marie <laughs> and Lisa. Marie, exactly. <laughs> hey, for more information on Lisa Marie, you can call the Massachusetts Adoption Resource Exchange, 1-800-882-1176. You can always check out my website, a lot of success stories. JackWilliamsWednesdaysChild.com And we'll be back right after this. Close captioning is brought to you by Honda. Start something special with great leases and low financing on a new Honda. Visit ShopHonda.com or visit your local Honda dealer. <gasps> what is this stuff? It tastes stale. Where's the flavor? Ladies, if you're drinking gas station coffee, and that's not your coffee. New England, get your coffee at Honeydew. Bingo! Seasons change, and so do styles. What never changes is the untouchable value at My Bob's Discount Furniture. It's my original power reclining living room set. And still the best. Genuine baby soft leather everywhere you sit. With a touch of a button, recline to your perfect position. Power reclining sofa, only $9.99. Power reclining love seat, only $9.99. Both pieces only $19.98. 50 stores strong and growing stronger every day. Seize that dream in your own backyard. Outstanding academics, career smart programs, cost smart programs. Nine institutions, nine neighbors for the Commonwealth. For you, your incredible state university system. Hey, Steve. Those are my lights. Mm -hmm. When you get a new Buick, you want to show it off. You're invited to the Buick Open House event, where for the first time, select 2014 Buick models are specially priced, so you can get thousands off MSRP. Current non-GM owners use your special value pricing to lease this 2014 Murano for around $199 per month. Find your dealer at BuickDealer.com. We're all born with it. That youthful curiosity and certain sense of adventure. It doesn't matter where it takes you. Only 
that you go. Sometimes we just forget it's there. And sometimes your best adventures begin with someone who can see you're up for one. Nova Scotia, take yourself there. March into winning at Foxwoods Resort Casino. On March 23rd, we're giving away a Jeep Sahara with a Sea-Doo jet ski and trailer. And four winners will receive $1,000 bonus slot play, all guaranteed. Catch winning entertainment with stars like Jay Moore, Don Omar, and Miley Cyrus. You won't want to miss Drunken Palette Friday, March 21st and 28th at our new lounge, The Fox. Meet up with friends and enjoy a cocktail and live DJ every Saturday night at Foxwoods Resort Casino. Introducing Honeydew's newest breakfast sandwich, a savory western omelet topped with cheese on a freshly baked cheddar biscuit. Try this or any other delicious breakfast sandwich and get a medium hot or iced coffee for just 99 cents. Honeydew, we've got your breakfast. Tonight at 11 o'clock here on WBZ News, Facebook made headlines when it cracked down on gun advertisements, but the real battle over internet gun sales here in Massachusetts is now heating up at the State House. Our chief correspondent, Joe Shortsleeve, shows us what's happening online and what's at stake. That's tonight, right here at 11 on WBZ News. Before we go, warm up in the way it's warm. Warm up coming. You want to save on a car wash, park outside tonight. Rain comes down, clean by morning. Great. Right. Like that. Thank you. Oh, I could use it, too. <laughs> right. Especially after you scared me with that stuff oh, of yours. No, it wasn't that scary. It was a little revelation. <laughs> We're closer now. Hey, have a, have a great night tonight.